Agent Marty, signing in. Today we're going to customize Firefox Quantum back to the way it should be. We're going to get the bookmarks little button back up so we can easily find our bookmarks and we're going to get the home button back where it should be and a lot of other customization. So if you're fed up with the new cut Firefox Quantum user interface, that's okay because I'm fed up with it too. So let's see what we can do to fix it. So first thing that we can do is we got, you're going to want to go all the way over to this little three lines button. You're going to click that and then you should see customize. You're going to want to this customize button click that and that will open up this new tab of customized Firefox so now it's just basically a drag and drop to customize it so we're gonna want to drag and drop home all the way over to the right and just drag it right where it was before that's where it should be and that's where I've gotten used to it same with the refresh button that refresh button was over here above before so I think it should be over here and really I think that the refresh button should be over on the right by default same with the home button for some reason quantum Firefox decided to flip it on for quantum for whatever reason but that's okay because we can customize it. Next, we want to get our bookmarks menu back. So it's just underneath here, this little bookmarks one that has a little star and the little line underneath it. Just drag and drop it where you like it. Pretty similar to what the way it was before. And other than that, this looks actually pretty similar to what we had before. When you're done and you're all ready to go, it's going to be this little blue done button at the very bottom right hand corner. So just go down there and just click done when you're done. In case you like the way it looked before, you can always click restart defaults and I'll just bring it all back to the way it was all right so I'm well this is the way I like it so I'm just gonna click done all finished customizing good to go now to change your default search engine and your default home page you're going to want to go underneath settings so go again to those three little lines open up the menu and then you should see options so you just can click that and that will give you all your options just the way it's the this is actually, is actually pretty similar to the way it was before so we've got startup, it'll say it's your current default browser. Here's where you can access your homepage. To change your homepage, all you'd have to do is say, I mean, I guess if you use something like Bing, I mean, there's probably a few people who use Bing. So what you want to do is you want to copy this URL at the top here. Once you find the website that you like to be your, your default homepage, then you just want to select that, control C, and then underneath the options tab, you're going to want to paste that into the homepage. Just paste that. I'm not too keen on Bing, but for the purpose of the video, I guess we'll use Bing for now. Okay, so now let's just just open up another tab again, and let's test it out. So home, and we should be at Bing. Yep, we're at Bing. And then that's just under general. For under search, this will give you your search engines. Uh, eBay, what the heck is eBay doing there? Uh, let's remove eBay. eBay, you're going bye-bye ebay remove there we go and i just keep it just down to google so i don't have crap like wikipedia being a search engine not that i don't mind wikipedia i want it to come up in the search of google so if you guys have any opinions or comments about firefox quantum leave that down in the comment section i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for subscribing i'll see you next video agent marty out